to light these bitches, count up a check in a white tee. Yeah. Bitch, I'm roll running, I don't give a fuck who beside me. Feel the coldest bitch, it don't even matter who bite me. Big <laughs> assholes. Totate, I'll smack a bitch face off. Hey babe, so today we're going to be starting out with the hair portion of this Get Ready With Me. So this hair was sent to me by Hair Kalai or Hair Clay. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But they sent me their 24 inch straight wig and I got my hairstylist to color it. I've gotten a lot of questions on what dye and all that kind of stuff I used to color this hair. But I didn't do it. My stylist did it. And I added her on Instagram so if you want to go and ask her then you can but i'm just going to be fixing my wig um it was a little bit too long i believe on one side so i cut it a bit and then uh laid it back down because it was glueless of course So once I've um, went back in and laid down the sides, I'm going to go ahead and just lay the edges or, you know, just touch them up a bit because they're pretty stuck in place. But I'm just going to make sure. And then we're going to move on to the makeup portion. For the makeup portion, I'm really not going to be doing too much talking. I am going to leave all of the makeup that I use down in the description box. But I'm just going to see, do you guys like the no talking, no voiceover at all, anything like that? Just descriptions and y'all just watch. Or would you guys rather me like talk throughout the video? So once you've laid down your wig or your edges, um, you're going to want to make sure that you do wrap it down with a satin scarf. I prefer a satin scarf or either you can lay it down with one of those like wraps, those hair wraps that they'll use for people who get finger waves or something. But I do not recommend using like a cotton anything. These work the best and you know it won't leave your edges white i feel like when you use cotton that's what makes your edges white
So I know that you guys are probably going to be a little bit confused right here. So I will step in and say I realized once I did the crease that the blue was up a little bit higher on the well I went back and actually added more because I realized that the blue wasn't high enough on one side. So I just took a little bit of a risk and added the blue on top of the crease that I had already put there and it still ended up turning out just fine. So just make sure that you're putting your um base shade high enough to wherever you're making your crease
Okay, so once the face is done, I am going to be moving back into the hair. I am going to be just basically combing it out because one thing I can say about this hair is it does stay straight and it doesn't really get too nappy either. I really do love this hair even after coloring it because I had some other like, maybe it's just because the hair was curly, but once it was colored, it wasn't so great anymore but i will say that this hair is still holding up and she ran the bleach or whatever you have to do i don't know whatever she said she has to do it a lot of times to lighten up that front piece so i'm very very pleased with this wig So now I'm just going to be brushing across my edges, you know, making sure that they're not stiff anymore and looking more natural because sometimes laying them down will make them like stiff and stuck together. So, you know, just brush them out. They're still going to stay in the same place because the product and you just laid them down. But that is the finished look. Um, don't mind my lash. It was sticking up a bit because it got stuck up under a candle. So I couldn't straighten it back out. And this was my only pair of lashes. And I realized this once my makeup was done. So just bear with me. <laughs> but yes, girl, give them looks. <laughs> Thanks, my babies, for watching this video. Make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And also, make sure that you do let me know if you guys would rather me talk through my makeup tutorials or just leave everything down in the description box and let you guys watch, you know. Just let me know what y'all want to see. And also, make sure that you go and check out Hair Claudia here. I will have all of their details in the description box. Bye, my babies.